Hello, good day and welcome to Lagos Diaspora Voices. Whereby we bring to you what is going on in the city of aquatic splendor, the center of excellence, the beautiful city of Lagos. We also let you know the success stories of those from the diaspora who've decided to come and relocate in Lagos and make it a center for their businesses to come and live their lives successfully. So today on Lagos Diaspora Voices, we have Mr. Bio Lion, as he's popularly referred to, the CEO of Wakanao and the founder of Wave Ditch here in Elegushi Beach. How are you doing, sir? I am doing excellent. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Welcome to Lagos Diaspora Voices. Mm -hmm. Well, we know you left um, the United States and you've come back to Lagos. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, tell us about yourself. Um, my name is Bayo Adediji. Um, people call me Bayo Lion. Um, I relocated back uh, about a year and a half, a year and a couple of months ago, uh, back to Lagos. Um, I decided to, I used to work for Amazon. Um, and I decided that I, I wanted to come home. Um, somebody said to me once that greatness awaits us back where we're from because that's where we're truly from. And I, I took it to heart and I came back and it's been, it's been amazing. So, um, live in Lagos, live in Lekki, um, run, run my businesses and Lagos is good to me. Fabulous. I, I'm glad you said that, that Lagos is good um, to you, and Lagos truly is good, not only to Mr. Bayer, but it will be good for every diaspora Absolutely. out there. So make Lagos your home. We know that. So why Lagos? I know you said a powerful quote there that greatness awaits you where you are from. Yes. Why Lagos? Um, so um, two things. Um, I grew up in Lagos. Um, I, didn't, I didn't go to school in Lagos. I went to Ife, Great Ife. Um, but, but I always knew that um, if I wanted to relocate back to Nigeria, um, if I didn't take a government um, opportunity, I had to live in Lagos. And, and I, I feel that I've been a man of commerce. I've been, I've been someone that has been involved in multiple commerce ventures, restaurants, um, retail, um, e-commerce, um, and now entertainment. Um, I knew that Lagos was the, the heart of it all. Mm. And, and Lagos offers the infrastructure um, for you to kind of get things done. You know, the people... You know, we go out in Lagos and ask ourselves, where do people get money in Lagos, you know? <laughs> and, and, and that's because Lagos offers the economic base for mm. people to have the disposable income to do some of the things that we, we want to sell. And mm. so Lagos was, was a no-brainer to come back to Lagos. Fabulous. One of the um, largest economies in yes. Africa, you know, with a population of over 20 million. Mm -hmm. And um, it's the economic and nerve center of commerce in Nigeria, mm -hmm. Sub-Saharan right. Africa, and as you know, it is um, uh, a city that never sleeps. Never sleeps. You referred to something that you said that, where are they getting all the money in Lagos? A I popular want that too. <laughs> musician said yeah. it. He said, um, um, them go talk say money, no day Lagos. But have you found that to be true? Are you failing in business or you're succeeding? Um, I, I, I think Lagos, Lagos does offer very unique opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd say that, yes, there, there are complexities that people talk about, but I always tell people that when you look at a donut, there are, there are two sets of things you can see. Mm -hmm. You can either see the donut or you can focus on the hole. Hmm. I always focus on the donut. And, and Lagos offers the opportunity for business, for commerce. I always make the joke about Balogu Market, and hmm. I tell people that the traders at Balogu Market don't leave. People don't close shop in Balogu Market. Mm, true. They always go there. There's always thousands and thousands of people at Balogu Market. And, and, and that is like where I take my cue from. It's, it's about thinking global but acting local. Mm. And, and that the opportunity is in Lagos. There's so much commerce going on in Lagos. Um, there's so much commerce. I, I used to run a fried yam business where mm. we sell yam. And, and I can tell Dundu you that... Dundu Nation, right? Dundu Nation, yes. Fabulous. And, and Dundu Nation... Um, 
I, the opportunity that I've seen is just amazing. amazing. And, and I, I'm trying not to quote numbers. And, mm. and, 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 but the opportunity exists. When you look at Waka now, when you look at what Wakanao.com has done across Nigeria, specifically in Lagos, Absolutely. it's amazing how much, how much business, how much exchange of value mm. happens out here. When you think about the entertainment business, a regular pop and shop woman that opens a beer parlor continues to do well and feed her kids and send them to school True. over that small little kiosk that she opens. When you think about our coastline, we have mm. the, one of the longest coastlines in Africa, yeah. right? And that coastline is what we're leveraging now at yeah. Wade Beach to create something unique. Where we're creating Miami in Lagos. That's unique. And I love that. Where else can you do that? Where, where else can a regular Joe like me mm. wake up and say, you know what? I want to create Miami in Lagos. And, and you don't have to go through oops. You don't have to jump through a ton of oops here that you can mm -hmm. get it done. I think... The only place you could do that is Lagos. Fabulous, fabulous. And in line with Governor Babaji Day, Olushala Songolu's agenda, the governor of Lagos State, yep. uh, you know, he has a team's agenda, T-H-E-M-E-S. Um, and E, the last E in that team stands for entertainment and tourism. That's why mm -hmm. he's making the city welcoming to people in the diaspora like you to come and settle and do great things. Yep. But you mentioned something in all what you said. You said, you know what, you have to have some local intelligence yes. you know um many diasporans and I, I i will tell them that you know it could be a culture shock at times and i'm sure you might have experienced that just like myself but what local leverage must you have to come and set up a business apart from the support the government may um give you um or apart from the support that the government is given you know by making it a safe place what kind of local intelligence and support and partnerships you need to form to actually succeed doing business in lagos so um, to, to, to everyone going to listen to this video, I have to say this to you that there is no textbook that can help you to do business in Lagos. Hmm. It's not written yet. Um, the, 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 the environment here is unique, but it does have order and it does have a system to it. Hmm. It's just that it's not as docu well documented as the businesses that we do abroad. And, and in, that, in that knowledge, you, sometimes you have to come here and play here for a while hmm. and just learn. You have to kind of live in the city and learn, you know, um, I used to come visit Lagos quite a bit, um, mm. 12, between 8 to 10, 12 times a year. Wow. I used to come to Lagos when I lived abroad. And I thought I understood Lagos. I thought that I knew it. <laughs> so did and, I. <laughs> and, and then I moved back and I, I had my moment of culture shock, multiple game. culture shocks. And the biggest one for me was that everything in Africa is built on relationships, specifically Lagos. Mm. And those relationships cannot be inherited, neither can you, can you buy them. Mm. You have to actually build them. Mm. And the relationships actually help us to further our business. And like I said, this is, we're still in a country where people are a little bit more difficult to identify. Mm. But, but it, we know each other in this Lagos. Lagos is a very small place. I say we are always two degrees of separation from, every, from each other. Yeah. And once you come back to Lagos, and you can reach out to your network, build on your rela existing relationships. Oh my goodness, Lagos will open itself up for you. And you start seeing opportunities come at your left, right, and center. Because this place needs a lot of you abroad to come back home and help us improve it. Oh, I, I say it quite a bit. I say only Africans can build Africa. Hmm. And only Lagosians can build Lago Lagos. Only, only Nigerians can build Lagos. And I tell you, Lagos offers us the opportunity to do great things. And I, I believe that if I can, you too can. Fantastic. If he can, you too can. Only yeah. Africans can be Africans. Only Africans can, can build, build Africa. Africa. Only Nigerians can build Nigeria. Yeah. And only Lagosians can build Lagos. Yes. Now, you don't have to be a Lagosian yeah. by a bet, but by association, by yes. living here, by growing up here, you're a yes. Lagosian. So Absolutely. come back and let's build the city together. Yes. Mr. Ballet Lyon said um, so many powerful things. And I, one thing that you said is that you need to, these relationships cannot be bought. No. They need to be built. Yes. I heard a story of a, 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 a royal in this city that actually um, had a part to play in this. And did you Absolutely. know him from anywhere? No, I did not. Tell um, us that story. You know, the, the, the Oba Elegushi has been a great supporter of, of this business. And it was, it, was, it was very instrumental in us getting access to the land, to mm -hmm. the beach. And, and he still comes here to patronize us and, and do business with us. Um, um, and I don't know him from Adam. I always tell people my father died when I was two, my mother died when I was 23. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like I, I... But it was relationships that I formulated by living in the local community mm -hmm. and making sure that I, I visit the king. I, I, I use people that I know you to know. kind of go meet him. And, 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 and his chiefs are wonderful to us. Fabulous. And it's, yeah. not, it's not built on money. I, it's, mm. not built on, it's not built on rub your palm mm. kind of relationship. It's built on you offering value. value. And I came there with a proposal and said, look, we can do X, we can do Y. Mm. And he said, if you can do this and you fulfill your words, Go get the land. And, and 
that is what I tell people that people think that things are not as easy you know, and I say that it gets easier mm. when you build the right relationships, right. once you know the right people. True. And, and um, do you have to know the right people? Yes, absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. But again, it's not because of anything. It's so, so that they can identify you, mm. so that they can know you. True. They can know the value you bring to True. the table. Yeah. And once people know that this is the value you bring to the table, oh my goodness, they will open doors to you. Fantastic. That's so true. And you said it's about bringing value. Absolutely. That is so important. You know, some people may feel that... Um, Lagos, you know, get contracts from the government and all that. But at times, when you propose something that I can do this, I will do this, then things will come to you. Yeah. The law of attraction, your sugar, you know, things, people that love sugar will come to yes, you. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's so great. So we see you had local partnerships. Yes. We see that you've, you, you built, you're building a Miami styled um, waves beach in, in Lagos, Elegushi Beach here. Tell us about this beautiful a wonderful place that you built. So, so basically, uh, Wave Beach is we named it Wave Beach because it's not it's not a bar, it's not a club, it's mm. not a res it's not a resort. It's everything inside one. It's actually just a beach. And 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 what we have done is that we've leveraged on on the entertainment industry, mm. on hospitality, on we're trying to build an hotel. We're building a full scale fine dining restaurant. We're building we have a nice party party pool that you can jump in. It's four feet deep and you can have fun. We're building a, volley, a volleyball lounge. We have a place where you can watch premiership, you can watch soccer, you can watch sports, a full entertainment at night. We do everything you everything. can do at the beach. You can sunbathe at this beach. Wow. Like I, I say it all the time, I didn't know some people sunbathe in, in Nigeria, <laughs> but, but again, <laughs> we come here on Saturdays and Sundays, even during the week, you see we bring their laptops here to come and walk work, and, yes. just, and just get the breeze, listen to the waves, mm -hmm. right? And just, and just have a great time. And, and that's how we monetize it. Yeah. We monetize, we don't monetize access. Mm. What we monetize is the food, the drinks, and the things that you do when you get here. The experience. And that makes it very unique for people. And people that like the peace and quiet, look at right now, you can hear the waves. I love raw, it. Right? Very it's calming. Not, it's not very calming. Yeah. You can come here and relax. It's breezy. You can get the natural habitat. And we continue to clean up the beach. Yeah. The, with the Ministry of Environment, Lagos Ministry of Environment, with, with all the power starters, we continue to help to clean up the beach and make it better. We're recycling. We're making sure that it's sustainable. Yeah. We're making sure that we're using sustainable material, Absolutely. even at the beach, to make sure that we protect sea life, mm. we, we protect the aquatic splendor Splendor, yeah. we talked about. And, and that's what we do at Wave Beach, and we're very, very proud of the work. But like we said, we're never done building. Mm. We continue to build out. Fabulous, fabulous. And, and I must say, this is what we need to ask for. If you're in the city of Lagos, you need to come to Waves Beach. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole scenery is great. From, uh, from the bar to the pool um, to, the, to the dance floor, everything is live. And you could bring your family along. It's not just, you know, nightlife and clubbing, but it's very welcoming for family and all that. Oh, absolutely. I think yes. if people come here on Friday, Friday mornings, Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings, people see kids running yeah. around, us back riding, yeah. having a great time. Actually, we're setting up a full kids area with bouncing castles yeah. for kids who have a great time. We're working on the water park here Fabulous. for kids who have a great time. Even now, kids have an amazing time. time. Most kids, they have to drag them home, wow. tell them to go home. Okay. And it's all at the beach. It's all at the place where people think, in Lucky Face 1, hmm. easy access, access to the highway, like easy access everywhere. Like, that is the Lagos that we know and yes, the Lagos we grew it. up to know. And that's what we're bringing back. It's amazing. It's, it's an amazing experience. And for those of you who like barbecue, you know, um, fresh oh, fish yeah. from the sea. You know, you also like um, the suya chicken or meat. And you, or you also like pizza, you know. They have an amazing place there. Um, fully fitted, fully catered. You don't want to miss this place. Absolutely. You know. We do custom-made pizzas. We have our own oven. We do custom-made pizzas in a in a in a clay built oven which is super amazing um mm -hmm. we have a full grill like the, the the point that we try to emphasize is an experience like we wanted to eat our food and experience it we even have a meal called the bio lion signature bio special. lion signature you, you know like special. when you get jollof fries that sounds like <laughs> cigarette like amazing jollof <laughs> fries not too spicy you can get more spice added to it like you can customize the jollof oh fries to my, you my, and my. that is what we do here is we, we we focus on the customer and make sure that we take care of you and you, are, you have a great experience when you come here fabulous so you know we can't he sold it enough it is it is beautiful so make sure you're here so as we round up now um give us some tips um or some things that you feel like to say to those in the diaspora um you know about relocating and you know actually replicating what you've done in their own spheres of influence yeah. or knowledge 
and also how we can reach you yeah. um, and, and locate maybe online and all that in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for those people thinking about coming back or thinking about doing business here, I always say that start from your relationship. Um, start from all your relationships and, and, and be willing to start small um, and then learn. Um, there's a lot of learnings that has to come from you actually doing it. Um, people's experiences should not deter you or people's negative experiences should mm. not deter you from, um, from the things that, 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 that is possible in Lagos. Mm. I say this quite a bit that um, the negative experiences are louder than the positive ones. Because, but there's a lot of positives because the positives are like typical Nigerians that say that when, you're, when your yam is growing, you cover it, right? But there's a lot of positive stories of people mm. that have moved back and are doing great things. I know guys that are doing great in real estate, great in government, great in business, great in oil and gas. But, you know, we don't put these kind of videos out there often enough to tell people and tell people that people actually come back home and are successful. Mm. And I tell you that if you want to come back, start from your relationship. You can reach out to me. I'll be glad to answer your questions as much as I can. Buy your lion one on Instagram and Twitter. I'm easy to find. You put my name in Google, you'll find me easy. And you can message me. I'll be glad to answer you. And I'll be glad to help out. I'll connect, I'll connect you to Lagos Diaspora yeah. and give you more resources to come back home. But there's a lot of opportunity here for you. And like I said, only us can build our own place. And if we don't come back, we can only complain from afar and become social media warriors. And that's not what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a doer. And then I wanted to walk the walk. The doer you are, yes. Mr. Bio Lion. <laughs> he said it all. You know, and also remember, Waves Beach can be found on social media, media yes, and all that. You so, know, just yeah, Wave Beach, Wave Beach Lagos um, on Instagram. You can easily find us. You can see pictures. And I'm sure you can see pictures. You can go on Google. You can Google us. You can see pictures of the place. And we continue to build it. Like we always tell people, we come back here in another two weeks. We're going to have upgraded again and upgrade again until we get into a place where we're, we know that it's perfectly okay for you as a customer to enjoy yourself and have a great time. Fantastic. Perfect ending. Perfect discussion. A perfect place. Thank you so much, Mr. Bio Lion, for pleasure. your time. Um, I look forward to tasting that Bio Lion signature special Absolutely. dish. Fabulous. So thanks for watching, guys. It have been Diaspora, those of you in Lagos, for watching the Lagos Diaspora Voices. Make sure you visit our website, lagosdiaspora.com, and, you know, slash voices, whereby you can watch more videos on people who are succeeding in the city of aquatic splendor, the center of excellence, my city, Mr. Bio City, our city, Lagos. Make sure you follow us at Lagos Diaspora on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and um, Twitter. We look forward to engaging with you and, you know, um, communicating, hearing what you have to say, listening to your voice because we're a listening government, and also interviewing you if you have a similar success story or a similar experience that you feel the world will benefit from. I am in Germany, so all the SSA Diaspora and foreign relations to Mr. Governor Babajide Sonwolu who is making Lagos greater by the day. Thanks for watching.